I am Arvin Kalb. I'm Roger Mudd. And we welcome you to Meet the Press. This is the season for trial balloons. The president, the White House says, is not yet ready to make decisions on taxes and deficits, though the need for decisions has been obvious for months. And so, with the election and Thanksgiving out of the way, we are treated to trial balloons. For example, plans hoisted aloft for tax simplification, <coughs> described as revenue neutral, whatever that ends up meaning, as well as hints about spending freezes, but exactly on what is left deliberately vague. Our guest today on Meet the Press is the man just elected to translate this administration fiscal mumbo-jumbo into concrete legislative programs. The new majority leader of the Senate, Bob Dole of Kansas. Do, do you think the White House has, in fact, a strategy? Oh, yes. You do? Yes. What, what is it? Well, it's unfolding. Well, I mean, how much longer <laughs> will it unfold, sir? Well, it's a little early. You know, we just had the election, and we have all these... Uh, in fact, they had to wait for a while to see what would happen on the Senate leadership uh, vote, and that was last uh, week. So uh, we hope to meet again next week with the White House, with the President. I, I would guess we're near uh, a strategy. Just a moment ago, you said you now uh, declined to take a position on whether the MX should be scrapped because mm -hmm. you might find it useful as a bargaining chip at the uh, arms talks in Geneva. What, Senator, are the chances that uh, Ronald Reagan will leave office with a so-called SALT III treaty in his pocket? Are you a betting man? <laughs> well, I, no, uh, me, which, cur which let me currency? Put it, let me put it this way. <laughs> if you put that question on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give you 3. 3. Mm -hmm. Not great odds, really, for a deal. No, that's not very good. Do you but, favor the deal yourself? Do you think it's a good idea in the interest of oh, this Oh, yes. I think that anything we can do to not just get that, cut down the number of nuclear weapons, I'd like to eliminate them. I don't think that wars are going to be fought with nuclear weapons. I think wars are going to be fought if we have them with conventional weapons. I think that's one of the reasons that the Soviets are going to the bargaining table. Uh, while we're not equal to her in numbers, we're very superior to her in quality, and particularly in the quality of our manpower. Mr. Aspen, we were alluding in, the, uh, in one of the earlier segments about the whole question of the Democrats perhaps, perhaps having a sort of softer edge on defense than they would like. Could you tell me, uh, since you are regarded as one of the new Democrats, one of the new leaders in the party, etc., what parts of the world do you think the United States could commit American ground forces to defend? What they, we, we ought to, what's important enough what to us? What is important enough for us to commit American ground forces? I would say the uh, Europe, right. the Middle East, Japan. Central America? Sure. After that, it gets a little iffy. Uh, but certainly under certain circumstances in Central America, yes. So say that again now. Certain circumstances. No, say which areas you... Oh, Europe, the Middle East, and Japan, Northeast Asia. Yeah. Now, in the Middle East, are we talking there about protecting oil lines through the Persian Gulf, or are we talking about Israel and Egypt? Uh, maybe all of the above. All of the above. You know, every four years, uh, America persists in believing that all it has to do is elect a new president, and all the problems will be solved. <laughs> And for the first uh, couple of months, first couple of years, the problems do appear to be solved. The uh, president promises to balance the budget, to get rid of terrorists, and then uh, very slowly the problems prove always to be intractable. And then disillusionment sets in, and the people find that instead of problems being solved, they are being papered over by press releases. And then what is set up in America is a desire to get rid of the president. And now the President of the United States is entering into his second term. He has a huge popular mandate behind him. But already, before the second administration has begun, the uh, problems are all around him. They're all around him, and it is an agonizing thing to watch uh, any administration deal with this particular problem of terrorism because it is so difficult to take action, so difficult to spot them. And one really doesn't know what this administration is going to do except try to sound tough. But that's it for now. Thank you all for joining us. I am Marvin Cal with Roger Mudd saying goodbye for Meet the Press, and we hope to see you next Sunday. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.